about 1953, I think it was, I joined North BR Surf Club and I was in there for 17, 18 years. Peter Way was a legendary big wave surfer, shaper and all around waterman. He was New Zealand's first national surfing champion in 1963. I made my first one underneath North PR Surf Club. We cut the outline out with a bread knife because we couldn't find the saw at the time. <laughs> In 2014, the ocean spat out a derelict surfboard onto Tahuanui Beach. An old guy wandered down to check it out, and holy shit, he said, it's a Peter Way board. This was no regular board, it was over 50 years old, and carried in it a rich history. This old guy had a friend, Tim Cathar, and he reckoned the board was meant for him. However, time passed and it sat dormant for over a decade. Right around then, Jeff met Tim. He offered him 20 bucks, and he began to restore this beautiful watercraft. He dedicated hours bringing this relic back from the dead, but he realised this board wasn't meant for him. Which brings me to Ben. He was just the right surfer for this board. He wanted to trace the board back to where it was made and reunite it with the man who shaped it, Peter Way. When I got about five or six years old, the old man used to put me in the surf boat and row out and get out the back and throw me off, now you've got to get home. The return of this board from the sea was to trigger a search for Peter Way and the chance to revisit the early days of Kiwi surfing. From there, it led us to places Peter surfed and competed as a young man. And it led to a connection with the new generation of professional surfers. And we see how they have managed to achieve their dreams and rise to the top of their game. In the morning, that's the last you see of me. Along with Maz Quinn, Paige Harib, Billy Stearman and Daniel Kiriopa, there isn't one bit of Kiwi surfing that will go uncovered. Join us on this journey as we trace this board back to Peter Wade.